what's happening, man? The sites. All right, so I want to talk about this because this is like the age-old fight, and it's, I've seen a few videos about it done over and over and over again. And I said, you know what? Let me give my take on it and hear me out, okay? Hear me out because I'm going to explain this whole Batman versus Superman and who would win, okay? Who can beat who? You got the Batman fanboys that say, oh, no, Batman, he'd think of everything. And then there's Superman. Oh, no, you know, he's basically a god. How can you stop a god? Both got your points. But let me explain something to you. So I was thinking, you know, if we were to compare Batman to Superman and really think about this type of fight, Batman is a normal human being, okay? Although he has trained his mind and his body to the utmost of human perfection, he's the best a man can get, okay? He's the best, thinking Gillette, the best a man can get. All right, stick with me here, though. So, he's the pinnacle of human perfection, genius mind. He's, he's, he's uh, mastered every martial art out there. He's invented his own weapons and technology. He's a master te uh, tactician. He's master of stealth. He's just, he knows it all, okay? But then you've got Superman, who is an alien, but he is affected by our yellow sun, which gives him extraordinary abilities, okay? His speed, his strength, his density, the super cool breath, the um, x-ray vision, the, the heat vision, um, just everything. And if I miss something, his flight, you know, uh, this new solar flare ability that he has, okay? Now, both of these guys are natural, okay? And what I mean by that is Batman doesn't use any roids. It's just him, his mind, his wits, his sheer human, sheer human will to be the best at what he is. Now, we've got another person who is an alien that is affected naturally by our son. That totally, he's a product of his of nature. He really is a product of Earth. Okay, if he wasn't an, on Earth, he'd be on Krypton and he'd be regular, just like Batman. Okay, so having said that, these both of these men are naturally what they would be, okay? Batman had to work at it, Superman was born with it, okay? Now I know he's undergone some training and done other things, and you know, I understand that, but just stick with me here. What if you were to compare a human being to the most powerful cat on the planet, the Siberian tiger, which weighs a little under a thousand pounds. It's faster than us, it's stronger than us, it's sharper than us. There is nothing we could do 10 out of 10 times to beat that thing in a fight. Nothing. If you get away, it's because it decided to let you get away. There is nothing that I could do against a Siberian tiger. No matter if I had Bruce Lee's fighting ability, okay, um, there is nothing that I can do. Hand to paw hand to claw. There is nothing that I can do to it. Nothing. Now, I can do something if I've had the time to study this animal, to know how it fights, to know how it hunts, to know its weaknesses, to know its strengths, to know its speed, its power, how sharp its teeth are, it's, it's, it's swiping range, how fast it can run. But if I'm not equipped at the time, even knowing that, if I run into a tiger walking out of 7-Eleven, there is nothing that I can do about it. If Batman runs into Superman and he's unprepared, there is nothing that the man can do, okay? Some other videos touched on this. There's nothing that he can do if he's not prepared. Superman is almost as fast as Flash, okay? In a blink of an eye, he can destroy Batman. 
in the blink of an eye like that. But given the prep time, given enough time to know what he's dealing with and always being prepared, there's a chance he can beat him. Just like if we were dropped in uh, in the Siberian Tigers' uh, habitat with a rifle, with camouflage, with a knife, with the, the body armor that we need, okay? With whatever it else, ev- else, whatever else we need that would defeat, that would exploit its weaknesses. That's the only way. But 10 out of 10, the fact of the matter is, if Bruce is sleeping and, and, and Clark decides to get out of his bed and move at close to the speed of light to kill him, it's most likely a done deal. The song is, ah, well, Batman probably got early warning systems. Huh? Look, y'all, I mean, come on now. And all, and even if you look at all the confrontations they've had, like, you know, Superman pulls his punches, and, you know, didn't, didn't Batman shatter his hand when he punched him with that kryptonite ring? I mean, it's just, he has so many advantages. And I told you, I love them both. I like Superman more. But it's only by a nose, okay? You got a, 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 um, a photo finish between these two as being my favorite. It's Superman only wins by a nose. That's it. A nose. This much. You see that? This much. That's it. That's all he wins by. Batman, yes, I know over the years, he's the cooler character. Because he's stoic and dark and brooding and cape flapping and beats up criminals and threatens guys and he's a ladies man and he's rich and he drives a fast car I get it the fact of the matter is okay <laughs> remember when uh, remember when uh, Dark Side got a hold of him in that team up movie that they did and Batman basically had let him know like look I got your mega codes or whatever it was he said um and he was like, yeah, like you're lying. He was like, don't believe me? 586 Omega 5-8934. <laughs> Dark side was like, all right, nigga, you win for the day. Smart motherfucker. Like, Batman was not prepared for Dark Side. You know what I mean? Like, Batman is the best that a human can be at any moment. But at every moment, not everybody is prepared. He's had his ass beat by Bane and other people. What the fuck are you going to do against a god? Okay? That's what I'm saying. So, I don't want no hate for this. I'm saying that Batman totally prepared. Just like Clark said, he's the most dangerous man on the planet. He could kill Superman. Okay? Agamemno contingency. (laughs) Okay? He knows how to take everybody out. Okay, but I'm saying most likely he'd never beat Clark. Clark could destroy him in a minute. I love them both, but I just want to help try to put an end to this. Who would win? Well, let's bring it down to this probabilities. Okay, my probability for defeating Clark is almost nothing, okay? It's true. It's just, he's just too powerful. And especially if Superman is on guard and he's not pulling his punches and he totally does not hold back. I mean, I still don't know how he has sex with Lois Lane. I mean, awfully gently. You know what I'm saying? Awfully gently. And if he busts a nut, he's going to blow a hole to the top of her head. You know, it's just... He's just extreme, even the powered down version of him. He's just too powerful. So post your comments down below and let me know what you think. Okay. And this is the question that I want answered. Who's most probable to win? I know that Batman prepared could beat Soups. Okay. And I'm not so sure that he could be uh, uh, enraged Superman. The glowing red eyes, 
not pulling punches, not holding back on speed or power, just an absolute savage. <sighs> I don't know, you know. But Superman nine times out of ten times out of ten. <laughs> okay, I mean he's the winner. Alright, post comments down below, let me know what you think. Maybe I will do a video on Superman versus Goku soon. I have to think that one over. But this video, Soups wins in all probability, but Bats does definitely have a chance to make him bleed. You will. One million subscribers. Woo!